The area around Lungarno Santa Rosa offers calm respite from the chaos of the Renaissance city. You'll find this laid-back stretch of the Lungarno in the San Frediano area of Florence, easily reached by crossing the Ponte Vespucci and veering right. It's part of a neighborhood that's gotten hyped up in the international press, with Lonely Planet officially christening one of the area's streets, Borgo San Frediano, as one of the coolest streets to explore in the world right now. But we're not on the Borgo, we're on the riverbanks. First up is the down-home Circolo Rondinella, a classic Florentine hangout where you'll see all ages mixing and mingling at all times of day. Pop in for a coffee break with a view, but know you'll need a seasonal membership card. Signing up is easy and the fee is only a little more than the coffee itself. Just enter and ask to get a tessera. Cross under the arched gate and past the tabernacle just outside the Circolo. Walk for just a few steps and you'll reach the Circolo's chicer cousin, the Santa Rosa Bistro, another open-air, all-day cafe and eatery with a slightly more international slant. It's perfect for a leisurely weekend cappuccino or sipping a juice while you get some shade. In the evenings and afternoons, the space hosts live music and DJ sets. A note to dog lovers, this area is popular with pooches for all the green patches in its mini park. Round out the Santa Rosa area morning with a stroll through the small park overlooking the river, which is just across the street and a few paces from the bistro. Take your bike if you feel up for a ride in the shade, a book if you want to relax on a bench, or even a basketball if you feel like shooting hoops. From the end of the park by the Ponte alla Vittoria, the next bridge over from the Ponte Vespucci, you'll find an access point to walk down along the Arno, where locals like to fish and linger. All of this is within easy walking distance of Florence's busy center, but provides a much needed breath of fresh air.